Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you're doing wonderful. Hope you're doing okay today. Today we will be talking about the upcoming priest of the Red Veil and his connection to the Red Veil himself. So the first things we want to know and understand is that the Red Veil see everything around them as corruption. And they have a great and a mighty goal in which they set to heal the system through a great and violent purge. They also said that no cost is too great and no blood is too precious. This means they will go to the very ends of the earth, the very ends of the universe, even if it costs them and even kill or sacrifice their own if and whenever it comes down to it. Now the perception of corruption to the red veil, however undefined in the universe and however it may differ with a lot of other syndicates, as we can see, is that they see things through the sides of allies, opposition, and enemies. This can be seen in the Syndicate tab and gives us a basic understanding and knowledge on how the Red Veil functions and how they work. In the list of consequences for the Syndicate, it's clear to see that those who really considered our target are either suspected of evil or corrupt in any other way. And this may be one of those people, including some individuals in the parent sequence or some of the individuals in the Orbiter of Exes. Now, with the Red Veil having the skills and the ability to tame infested and Eximus units, it is no question that they still consider infested as tools of great evil. And like any evil as the infested, they can be tamed. And this is why whenever you go into one of your relays, you tend to see the infested at the back. And this is because whenever the Red Veil encounter infested, instead of just purging and killing them, they have the ability to control them. And that's how they are able to send infested after you whenever you go against them and they send them after you in your missions. This is why the existence in the hierarchy of the priest is very, very logical and very prevalent within the Red Veil order. Something existing not just for the purging of infestation, but to harness their power and use it. And as we can see in the image and in the slide and the clip show of the infestation in the new press that was shown on DevStream, this is one of those things that I was able to gather and create something that you can see as a speculation as far as how the priest works, how his functions, how his utility is, and of course his link and connection to the Red Veil. Now, this does not mean that the Red Veil is allied with infestation or any or every infested units out there. They've just been able to control it. And like the people of my Kona colony, this is one of the good fits and one of the good suits of the Red Veil, their power to overpower and control infestation. The addition of Priest to the game will be a game changer in a lot of battles involving the infested, some of your derelict missions, or even the Jordas Vatic raid mission. So this is going to be one of those amazing things. Imagine being in a situation where you have a lot of chargers, a lot of boilers, a lot of ancients being around you, and being able to use the passive like you have in Oberon, being able to control and have wildlife fight on your side. Now being able to have an infestation fight on your side or being a lie to you, even if it is for a few seconds or a few radius, that will be an amazing feature. That would be a really, really good thing to see in the game. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this theory. This is mainly and basically speculation. This is not something set in stone by DE, but this is one of those things that I have created based on reading the lores, looking at the syndicates, and looking at the little information they have given us on the dev stream. So let me know in the comment section how you feel about this, and of course the undisclosed lore in the game. And if you want and love to see more of this, in my videos and if you want me to examine and look at some of the other syndicates and their alignment to different and various warframes as well and various enemies in the game let me know down below in the comment section and if you have your own theories and your own logic and how this works and what the link of the priest of red veil works and how that goes in and as far as law is concerned how this will affect the Warframe universe and how this will affect our progression through the game. Let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to read every single one of them. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want more on this channel and you want to see more and get more updates, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and if you would love to get notified hit that notification button as well as always it is ds signing out i'll see you in the next one